from your weather authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Well, we're getting close to the end of July, and believe it or not, especially if you're in other parts of the tri-state, you know, I'm going to tell you that we're running a deficit rainfall-wise here in, at the Evansville Airport anyway, and about a quarter of an inch, in fact, a little bit more than a quarter of an inch deficit for the month of July. And you're thinking, I'm not running a deficit where I am. And I know that we've had some downpours, but that's the way it gets sometimes this time of the year. You get these downpours down the road. And I'll tell you one thing, though, the good thing about that is it'll cool off a bigger area than where they see the rain. So, but then you down the road, you've got next to nothing. And at least at the airport, uh, we're running a bit of a deficit. Still, we've had a decent amount of rain this July, and we're still seeing a rainfall amount for the year that's only three inches behind last year. Last year was one of the wettest years on record. We've had over 36 inches of rain so far at the airport. But again, just a little bit of a deficit here uh, for this month. Uh, we're going to make up for that, though, it looks like on the last couple of days of this month. Thursday and Friday, good chances for rain. So kind of like what we had in April when it was fairly dry until the last part of it. And then all of a sudden, boom, we just got inundated. June was that way, too. We got inundated the last few uh, days of June. This is our Zemer Funeral Home camera on top of Fifth Third Bank. We can see a few breaks in the clouds and a little sunshine trying to peek through. Now keep in mind we're looking to the west here, uh, but if you look to the north, and if you drive to the north, you're going to run across a lot more sunshine north of 64. And now we're looking off to the northwest. This is from our backyard heads construction tower cam shot. See one box truck moving south, <laughs> another car. Where is the traffic? <laughs> it's not out there. Uh, they did have a wreck there earlier on 41, but it looks like uh, that's been cleaned up. But they had some backed up traffic for a while. But nice to see even what little traffic we've got out there moving. I guess it's a stoplight that has some of them stopped now. 81 degrees current temperature. The dew point's at 70. So, I mean, we've been to low to mid-70s over the past several days. I mean, the weekend was pretty tough to take. Sunday was pretty brutal with the heat and humidity. Yesterday, we were up to 88 degrees at 11 o'clock. And we only made it to 90 for a high. Those cooling showers certainly helped out. Even though we didn't see a whole lot of rain at the Evansville Airport, wind is currently calm. Now, the wind yesterday was a bigger deal. We had a wind gust up to 27 miles an hour uh, yesterday at the airport. And, of course, we had sustained winds around 20 miles an hour at times. So that was a, a little more impressive wind. We're not going to see much of one today, mainly from the north-northwest at around 5 to 10, but closer to 5 than 10. Uh, temperature run cannot be done. We've got 77 Ligoti, 79 degrees in French Lake. Uh, it is 80 in Jasper, 81 in Evansville, 82 Carmi, 83 degrees and Vincennes, and that's as warm as it gets. Well, 84 in Morgantown, just outside the tri-state, but that's as warm as it gets. So we're not really heating up all that fast with all the clouds that are around, especially down to the south. Dew point-wise, now we're starting to see this drier air, these lower dew points, and they're working their way a little bit farther to the northwest. Earlier this morning, we had dew points around 70, up around Flora and Fairfield. Now they've dropped down into the mid-60s at 66 in Flora and Fairfield. That's not, I mean, it's still humid, don't get me wrong, but it's not as humid as what we've seen. 66 Vincennes, 66 Mount Vernon, Illinois. So nice to see a little bit drier air starting to work its way in. And it's going to continue to work its way down to the south. So. I expect that dew point to drop in Evansville, to be dropping in Jasper. I mean, just up the road in Ligoti, it's already down to 68. So we'll see some, again, upper 60 dew points. And I think we're going to see that really for the next couple of days. Uh, it, a bit of a bump up on Thursday, dew point wise. It's still going to be borderline humid to very humid. I'm going to call it humid, but a good chance of rain. And then on the back side of that, as we head into the weekend, which will be the first weekend of August, by the way, uh, I do expect the dew points to be in the upper 60s. All right, heat index wise, not nearly as brutal as yesterday at this time. We had some triple digits, or at least close to triple digits. We did have triple digits at noon. I've uh, been feeling like 84 in Evansville, 85 Jasper, 85 degrees in Madisonville, so not a whole lot warmer than the actual temperature. All right, we had a beautiful sunrise this morning. You're looking outside right now, you're thinking, man, we're not seeing the sun. Well, earlier we did have some breaks around uh, 545, 6 o'clock. I mean, that's about the time the sun's rising across the tri-state these days. And Whit Whitney Costin got the goods here from Crossville, Illinois. Just a beautiful sky as we look out uh, toward the east this morning. Whitney, thank you so much for that shot. Pretty good cluster of showers, even a few thunder showers down around Paducah. A lot of that's going to miss us to the south. This is our live first warning Doppler radar. Now we put it into motion for an hour and one hour loop, uh, just making slow progress through Paducah. That's going to be a pretty good rainmaker down there. Uh, just a few light rain showers cutting through our part of western Kentucky. Looks like a moderate shower about to move into southern Hopkins County. So we zoom in just a little closer. There's one little lonely shower moving from McLean County. Kind of holding its own, though. It's not getting stronger, not getting weaker and it's not losing any of its range. I mean, it's still basically the same size it was as it continues to work its way toward Beaver Dam. Looks like it's going to clip Hartford to the south, and there's that one lonely shower. Let's go ahead and take a look at southern Illinois. Just a few little showers now in Harrisburg. It was more impressive, that rain mass, as it moved in uh, to Saline uh, County, uh, but now it's amounting to very little, about three drops on a brick bed is all we got now. But that's, again, not a bad deal. These are rainfall estimates over the past 
uh, 24 hours. Most of this, of course, yesterday, late uh, morning, early afternoon, really throughout the afternoon, too. A little pocket here on the northwest side of Evansville. In fact, it's just outside Evansville and uh, Vandenberg County, pretty close to St. Phillips. A uh, 1.7 estimated by Doppler radar just to the west of Mount Vernon in Posey County. Better than two inches of rain estimated by Doppler. As we go down to the south. In Shawneetown, once again, a little pocket here around Shawneetown, close to two inches, estimated by Doppler radar there. And again, most of that was yesterday, late morning and throughout the afternoon. This rain continues to work its way from west to east, coming out of the Missouri area. And look at all those clouds that are still littering the skies over western Kentucky. As you move to the north, uh, it is clearer. The sun has broken through, and of course, the dew points have dropped a little bit too. And again, we're going to see some slow clearing, at least for most of us north of the river here, uh, within the next hour or two. So Evansville, you'll be seeing more and more sunshine as we go through this hour. And by one o'clock, Really, most locations along and north of the river should be in the clear, at least clear enough to see plenty of sunshine. And then, the, even though the rain showers are going to be out there, not as prevalent as what our future tracker is saying. It's really overplaying that rain this afternoon, but we do have a chance, especially down along the Western Kentucky Parkway. And as we head into tomorrow, we start the day with sunshine. We'll see a few more clouds roll in in the afternoon. And again, I think future tracker overplaying the rain just a little bit. Best chance is going to be where we do have this stalled out frontal boundary, and that's down in Western Kentucky tomorrow. Rainfall forecast again, look to the south to see the heavier amounts. But with these scattered showers. We're talking about heavy pockets in places and then other places not really getting a whole lot of rain. Here's my forecast for today. Still calling for mid to upper 80s for high, banking on sunshine. We will see uh, rain mainly to the south. A few showers, perhaps a few thunder showers out there too. Not much of a wind from the north northwest at around 5 to 10 miles an hour. And as over the next couple of days, we're still hitting the upper 80s tomorrow. A little bit cooler because, well, fact, quite a bit cooler because of the rain we're going to have on Thursday. A good chance for showers and some thunder showers. Same goes for Friday, even into Saturday. Highs are going to be in the low 80s both days over the weekend. What kind of a way to start August? I think a good one, uh, even though we got a good chances for rain out there. Angie, check this out. This was a shelf cloud yesterday. Uh, that Amanda Davis got in Heightsville, Kentucky, which is in Union County. I mean, that shelf is just jutting out from the base of that storm. A really cool shot that Amanda got, and thank you for sending that my way. I love how she has that panoramic camera uh, in order to get that whole view to of get that the shelf whole cloud. Thing, it's just so beautiful the way it starts there. Yeah, and you can see the curve in it too. It's really kind of cool. So kind of an epic cloud there over good over job. Union County, and a good stand of corn out there too. A very good stand of corn. <laughs> we'll be back with more lifestyles right after this. Stay with us.